Hey guys, I'm recording 3D here, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make one thin color in the background, uh, black and white, or whatever you want it to be. Um, what, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take this picture and I'm gonna make it look like this. Alright, so let's get started. First, I'm gonna close out of all this. I'm gonna open the picture. Now, what I'm gonna do is with the Magnetic lasso tool. I'm gonna select that. I don't wait for a second to unlock this background layer. Um, what essentially I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a uh, layer mask. You can do that down here and you can color it in. But I'm gonna do a quick one. I'm gonna use this magnetic lasso tool. So I'm gonna click here. I'm just gonna go around the edges and it's kind of gonna lock to like certain colors to like color differential. I'm just gonna trace around here. And if you happen to mess up, you can just click backspace and it will take away the last anchor that you did. I'm probably going to have to do this sometime in the near future. Last time I did it, it was around here. I'm going to click here because it won't recognize this as the same color. I'm going to click here. I'm going to click here. And we keep going around. Oh, I gotta move my hand because my mouse. My mouse is getting trapped in my uh, tray for my desk. I don't see it's doing that. I created another anchor like that, so I'm gonna have to click backspace. And that got rid of that anchor. I gotta move it out a little bit. So, what I'm gonna do since it's messing up around here, I'm just gonna click and make my own anchors. Do that by clicking where you want it to be. Okay, I can just drag it in here, click down at the bottom, and bring it over to this side. And it usually comes up this side pretty good. I have to click over here, bring it around here, click in there, and go up here. And connect it back to this first anchor, and it, that closes the loop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the inverse, so it selects everything but that, and click Create Layer Mask. I'll hover over it, or Add Layer Mask. Now it made it like this. Now what I need to do is I'm going to come up here to Adjustments. If you don't have that, um, I think it's puts it there by clicking Essentials. I'm going to go black and white, and see it turned everything black and white. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the layer mask off of this layer and I'm going to drag it up to the top one. And click replace layer mask, click yes. And that's basically how you do it. Now if you have things that you need to touch up, like oh, I don't have any right here. Let's see right here. Um, right here, I wanted to add some more of this yellow in because it didn't completely get it with the uh, magnetic lasso tool. You can come over here while you still have the layer mask selected and click your paintbrush tool. And with your foreground color set to black, I think, you, do is you just size on your brush and go like this. And it adds more to the layer. And as you can guess, a white is the opposite. It takes it away. If you added too much, just use white to take it away. And it deletes it from the layer mask. And if your default things aren't set to black and white, I think you can do that by clicking D. Yeah, D on your keyboard. We'll set it to foreground and black, background uh, black and white. Alright, and that's uh, pretty much how you do it. I'll show you how to export this, just because that's what I do in every tutorial. Click save for web and device, JPEG, quality 100, click save, to my pictures, sure, um, I'll save it as black and white flower, just click save, and it saved it, and that's basically it, alright, thank you for watching, please comment, rate, subscribe. Um, if you have any suggestions for future videos or tutorials that you want to see, please feel free to leave that in the comments. 
And as always, if you have any problems, be sure to comment so I can get back to you as soon as possible and fix your problem. Alright, thank you for watching.